So if you have more than one SIM card, real SIM or eSIM, you're gonna have two kind of bars at the top here on your screen. In this video, I'm gonna show you what they do and how you deal with these things and the setup you're gonna have when you're having more than one SIM card. I have two SIM cards just because I'm traveling a lot between Sweden and Canada. And that's why I have one Swedish SIM card that I can use up to 30 days here in Canada. And with my Swedish carrier, I get 100 gigabytes of data, full speed 5G here in Canada. But after those first 30 days, it's gonna start cost me big bucks if I continue to use data. So that's why I have a Canadian SIM as well. And the Canadian SIM card that I found to be the cheapest compared to performance and how much data you get, that is the public mobile. So for these bars that we have here, the top one, that is indicating the carrier you have selected to be the primarily one for data. And then you have the bottom one, that is the secondary one you have. So if I swipe down here, we can see that I have public mobile, that is my primarily one. And then I have Bell, that is my Swedish one that is connecting to Bell when I'm here, here in Canada. And then we can see that it says C in front of the public mobile and it says S in front of the Bell one. That is because of the nicknames I've set to those ones. And we can check that if we go into settings and then we scroll down to cellular, Further down here, we can see what kind of SIMs I have. I have a Swedish and a Canadian one. And the letter you see here in that square, that is the first letter of the name that you set up here. S is for Sweden and C is for Canada. And if you ever like to change that, I can just go in here and I can change the label here and I set a custom label that is Sweden. And here I can also see that I, for example, would like to turn off Wi-Fi calling and I also would like to turn off my roaming data roaming that i have down here because i don't want to use that data because it's going to cost me a fortune when i'm here so instead i have my canadian number and here i can of course change that label here if i want to as well i can see my canadian phone number i can see my network and i can also see that i have for example data roaming that is off as well because i don't want to use this one when i'm back in sweden because then that's going to cost me a fortune so let's go back for cellular data. I would like to use Canada, my Canada number, because now we are in Canada. So that is going to be my preferred one. If I change this one to Sweden and go back, now we can see that we have the bell, the S at the top and C at the bottom. So now that is the one that is going to be at the top here. So I'm going to change that box. So I'm going to have Canada here. And then we can also see that my default voice line, that is gonna be my Swedish one because that is the one I would like to use when I call someone. I can change that whenever I call people. When I actually go in here to make a call, here I can change what SIM card I would like to use. And then I can also, for example, when I leave Canada, I don't wanna use that one. Then I can just turn off that line and then we can see that it disappears up here also. And if I swipe down, we only have one there again. And then I can go into cellular again and I can go to my Canadian one and I can turn it on. And then it's going to pop up there again. So the next thing we're going to do that is to see each other in the top video here because that is the video that about 75% of all my viewers are watching. And that is the video that actually YouTube recommend you to watch next. So let's see you in that one. Have a good one. Bye.